Good header by Billy Bonds, and here's the corner. And there's Bonds, and this time he's got it in. From Graham Patton's corner, Billy Bonds, who came so close with the header, but produced the corner. Tom Wally, very neatly getting around Anderson onto that famous slip for it! Oh, what a goal by Wally! What a beautiful goal by Tom Wally! Not that I want to suggest that Orient are simply a hustling side. They are showing again this afternoon that they can be a very skillful side as well. Ryan and Heppelet. Oh, and Heffalet's given it away, and Husband is through, and he's got the equaliser. Well, they were let down there a little bit by their number eight. Good long throw there, Wally uh, behind it once more for Orient. Shanks turning it in a very good ball, and a good header by Butlin. And that puts Luton into the lead. To Cunningham. Well, the experienced Thompson has got to watch him very closely. Cunningham still in possession, and then a nice little flick to the other youngster here in this Orient side, Bobby Fisher. Here's Cunningham again. Curly one in beautifully. Yes! Scored by Jerry Queen and made by Laurie Cunningham. The number 12, the youngster. Francis. And run. Far too many Birmingham men all playing in the same place. Kendall's cross, Keelan under it with Burns. And the shot for Campbell, and he scores it. Alan Campbell, critical of him earlier by missing a very good... <laughs> missing a very good chance. Kendall. Francis out on the right touchline to go against uh, Howard. Smith. Oh, and a fine goal by Tommy Smith. Support arriving from Hall and Cormack in the middle. 
Callaghan again. There might be a man over here, Cormac. Highway! 2-1 to Liverpool. And Luton's defence caught cold. Bucken calling hard for it. Taking the responsibility there well. Hoadley, that'll fall for Brian Greenoff. And look at Morgan in so much space now. Willie Morgan for Manchester United. And that's a beautiful goal. That is a beautiful goal. Scored by Willie Morgan. And they've left only Martin Bucken back. Bucken and Posse are the only men, other than Alex Stepney, who have stayed back. So that really is a crowded Orient penalty area. As Forsyth chips it into the far side towards Houston. Oh, and what a header! And it's there by Houston. 2 nothing. Forbes behind him on the goal line. Up comes Powell. Here's Sullivan. Sullivan still going. And Powell, a difficult one for him. Powell, yes! Off his knee! Tony Powell, well, they won't get a luckier goal than that. Colin Suggett. To Grapes. Nice play. Up goes McDougall. So McDougall, fit or not, scores for Norwich City, but necessarily all the congratulations should go really to Steve Grapes. Walsh's cross, cut out by Forbes. Bentley in there aggressively. He's added a good bit more might to the midfield, and Bentley's shot is in. So the change putting Bill Bentley into the middle of the field certainly pays off. The match onwards, and when he gets down there, Richie Mahoney in, tries the shot, left footed, beautiful goal, John Mahoney, one nothing. Hudson has to slow it down because there's not much support up there. Sammons takes over. Again, he slows it down. Pechik for Hudson. And now Stoke do have the men forward. Hasn't raised one of them, a touch then for Greenock. And a deflection. A deflection took it away from Dave Harvey, but it's 2 0. And Hudson breaks. The support on his right is from Richie. He's got to watch the offside, that's all. Wasn't quite long enough for Richie. He's in with the shot, and he is 3 0. We wanted that third goal, and we got it. John Richie has the crown. Brian Talbot is going to take it. Scored three goals last season. Having come into the team against Burnley in February. And there's a man behind me with the right time ticket and he couldn't watch it. Brilliant. Lambert, Hamilton, Weimark. Robson's players were now attracting international attention. Weimark, Johnson, Beattie, Mills, Tor It's a result, a goal is draw that Stoke would be well pleased with. I mean, two points would be even better, and that's what they're looking for at this moment as Sammons takes it up the crossing for Hurst. Oh, Jeff Hurst. What a beautiful goal. What a beautiful goal by Hurst. Dunn's tackle only half effective, Hatton still going strong. And Dyson! Tony Dunn hangs his head. His tackle should have been more effective. Greaves. Crossed by Ritson. Nicholson going in, and what will score? Good header. against one, McAllister against Ainscoe, Ainscoe just with Siddall to beat, Siddall has come out, Ainscoe, and
and it's in. They struck up a deadly partnership, which left many defences in tatters. Yeah, but you still off, you know. We... Jordan. Going away from Caldwell. Youngster sticking well. Derek Johnston gets number four. And it's down to Jim Platt now to try to stop the penalty. John Ritchie to take it. As the referee ran back to the centre, one or two protests followed him from Middlesbrough players. Armstrong's got Hickson going to his right, number nine. Sooners to murder. That's for Craggs, who got well forward. Mills. Sooners. Oh, beautiful shot by Graham Sooners. Gillingham always threatened to do something with these corners if only they could place them properly with big men like Galvin and Shipley up there let's see what O'Donnell can do with this one that's a good looking corner once again and Shipley again is in there with the header Damien Richardson almost got in with his and Tideman couldn't get in with his shot played off now for Peacock and this could be a dangerous break a beautiful pass by Peacock there for Powell and Gillingham need to come back quickly a little chip over his head and he hit the crossbar Peacock with the header and that's the goal! Keith Peacock has scored! A breakaway with three minutes left. Damn it, with the throw. Burns. Shoot up. Burns. McDonald, 2 0. Twenty-four and a half minutes gone. 2 0. Doyle for City. Hartford. And on to Donachy. Too hard? No, just stopped nicely for him. Fell for some of it. Left foot, and in! Bell, Hartford, Doyle. And Clark this time is onside. McRae coming to meet him, and Clark is round him, 1-1. You can't give Alan Clark chances like that. As deadly a finisher as there is in the first division. McQueen, seized on by Tuart. Away from Hunter, he's got Bell on his right. Bell coming in now, beautiful goal! Justice was done, Woodward hit the bar, Woodward hit the upright, and Mills, following up, put the ball unluckily into his own goal, and you can see how he feels about it. The crowd in a ferment now, they're loving this, particularly since the home side's in front, that is speak. Oh, it's two! Field, Field makes it two in a minute. Field. 
Tony Field going well, riding two tackles and a third. Good running. A great goal. A masterpiece of a goal. Superb stuff by Tony Field. What a corker. And it'll be Jerry Daly to take the penalty for Manchester United. He's already put two home this season, two penalties. And it's a perfect penalty. The referee has been very particular about the place from which the kick will be taken, as of course he's entitled to be. Garden scored. Push there, McCulloch getting a second try. McCulloch has scored, but I thought just before that there had been a push on one of the Ranger defenders. Here United have fought back to level town. Lose a draw if they were kind of through the super team play, they thought, well, I've been entertained. We played uh, adventurous, flowing football, and the fans loved it. The number of times we played away. Never wanting the return. Turning a lot, Fletcher, no more! The win helped him a little bit then, he blew it back. Here's Holmes to Lyons. Seal has made a good run down towards the right to take this one from Lyons. Turning again, what a good run there by Holmes, he didn't quite come to him, but it's a goal! Scored by Chris Jones for York City. A very good goal indeed, well taken by Jones, after Fulham had had more of this opening quarter of an hour. Lacey for Fulham. Oh, that'll go straight to Cave, a little touch off and it's on for Jones. Seal is up ahead of him, here's Mickey Cave again, a long shot stopped by Lacey. Oh, and he's given away a second goal! Yes, scored again by Jones! What a disaster that for Fulham! Morgan keeps it in, but no more. The Scythe gives him another try. Nick Martin. And Greenock! <laughs> Dennehy. forward by Cottam, Bowyer's header and Neil Martin coming in, Bowyer! Well he'd always looked the most likely Forest scorer. So Richardson with the corner, curling in, Cottam there and he's got it in! So here are the Second Division's unbeaten leaders, now 2-1 behind, at home to Nottingham Forest. McCalliog to Houston. McMartin. Well controlled. McElroy. Beautiful control. It's all there when McElroy decides to use it. And he did that so cleverly. O'Neill knocks it for Peach, who's going to try one. That's a beauty! Oh, what a goal! Dave Peach has made it 1 9 for Southampton. Only the second goal he's scored for Southampton since he came from Gillingham, and that's one that's going to count solidly against goalkeeper Eric McManus, who was not concentrating. Brad is up there, all six footers. There's Masson's corner, there's Brad, and there's the goal, Randall, it's equaliser, Randall's got it. 1-1, one, one, and the county supporters erupt. Randall opens his account for the season, his first goal of the season. Oh, what a duel, what a goal, he came from nowhere, Scots, 2-1. He had run some 15, 20 yards to get on the end of that one, and none of the Southampton people picked him up. Six years ago, he joined this club from Middlesbrough. Exactly to the day, is he going to celebrate now with Notts County's third goal? Masson against this goalkeeper. Yes! Masson gets it! 
gets it. Steele. Beach. Fisher. Fisher the cross now. Not a bad one. Gilchrist is there. Now Osgood. And he's got one. Peter Osgood knocks in a second one for Southampton. 3-2 the scoreline. Is that a goal? Yes, it is. And it's scored by Madrid. Garland. Hutchinson calling for it. There's Hutchinson. Oh, he must do. And he has done. So Leeds forcing the corners plentifully. But as yet, no goal to show. McQueen's coming up for the header. Yes! On the line, the defender, Clark, the scorer. McQueen and Clark not in it past, but he went on the line. So Alan Clark gets his third goal of the season. Royal on the near post there. Watched by two players. Dobson running behind, taking two away. Got the back header, and the goal by Lunchford. Somebody. Well played, Bell. And driven across by Bell and this Marsh. It's just some of the forward, and there's Bell. Stewart's making tremendous strides to get up with him, and so is Summerby. Clement has lost his cap, and he's lost the goal as well. Scored by Stewart. Header by Morgan. Massive United players forward. Martin Pearson. To Hibbit. There's McDonald. Smith. Francis. He's away from him. Oh, yes! Beautifully done! Bob Hatton! 1-0! Roger Davis still protesting his innocence. But meantime, Trevor Dancer sets himself up. Francis against Bolton. his chance for a second penalty of the afternoon he's done Bolton once can he do it again yes Webster now for Darby Davis on for Hector Stanton is going to be touched to him, I imagine, and then a big bang. Here it goes. It's there. It worked. A wonderful example of third time lucky for Bristol Rovers. Uh, 
Burnley. Going well, he's got space. Goal! Number two for Alan Warboys. Five minutes from time. The crowd feel that puts the seal on it. Heel. Dalglish. Dalglish scores. Well, the Rangers defence was completely taken aback. Somewhere, I thought a Rangers hand had been used. The Rangers defence seemed completely to stand still on Dalglish. Whacked that one in. Young. Neil heading it down. McDougall. McDougall has scored. Goal number four, scoring his most vital goal for Rangers in his short career with them. Beautifully taken, the Celtic defence caught completely off guard. So we're back, all square again. Playing again. This time getting it right over the goal. Brilliantly headed in by Jackson. Corner kick by Tommy McLean. Colin Jackson ran in there to meet it with his head to put Rangers into a 2-1 lead. Beyonder got in the way of that. Now Madeley. Again the deflection. Jordan Clark. Jordan, go! How did Clark do it? How did Clark find a way through that massive leg? And here's the chance for Leeds United to score two goals for the first time in a match this season and it's Lorimer and he's done it Sigurdig also in trouble Clark He got there, Jordan! Four! John Dupur. Gantic. Again, John Dupur. Kuhn lurking. Good cross. It's, yes, it's a goal! Well deserved. Ilya Gantic. David Thomas making a run into the middle, that's a nice ball. And Keeley's put it in his own goal. Hibbert. First time crossed by Natras. McDonald's. Judah! Judah the scorer, but all the credit to Malcolm McDonald. And Brady having a rough time of it being pushed at the other end as well. Kidd, thundering it through, yes, Brown Kidd. One nil to Arsenal, the world disintegrated. Jim Ryan, Don Shanks, oh and here's Anderson with a chance now for Luton Town, squared across the goal, and Austin has scored. No, it's a free kick. A free kick to Arsenal, George Armstrong to take it. A little chip there, Brady was right in there, Simpson's here too. Oh, and a good shot, and will keep forcing in, he has, on his hands and knees. The goal given, Luton a bit disappointed with that, I don't think they know quite what they are protesting. Uh, Shanks has taken on too much there, but West can again collect for Luton. Jim Ryan. There's the cross going in again, too high for Butlin, and it was uh, Story, in fact, who got a header to it. Shanks going on. There's the cross for him, and it might come again for Luton. No, headed away by Blockley that time, and by Armstrong. Shanks! Oh, a tremendous goal by Don Shanks! 
What a tremendous goal by Shanks. Rain coming down more heavily now. Weimark. A lot of grass on this pitch, so it'll be difficult to keep your feet, but not for Viljohn here. And space here for Torben. Yes! It's going to be Beatty who takes the kick. Weimark and Johnson are over the far side. Shorter one to Mills. Beatty again. Beatty taking advantage of the slip by Cook. Still Beatty going. Locke beats him. And Hay. Up goes Johnson. chance for John Phillips well Sheffield United have come closest to a goal that was a great effort pushed through by Field to Dearden who took it first time against the upright but now it's Reeves on the attack a lot of men there Clark The throw take on Lorimer to Giles. McQueen! Yes! Yes, it went in and came out. Gordon McQueen. Back header by Cahoon, putting Franks under pressure, and he, Clark can get it. Clark has got it. For Jonas. Good goal. Good goal. And a beautiful goal. A really fine goal. Jonas presumably accused of either ungentlemanly conduct or talking too much. A free kick has been awarded to Sheffield United. Up for Dearden. Yes! A goal! The, the bizarre events of this match continue. Still not really away. Here comes Sargent. Steve Harvey completely. Steve Sargent from left back puts Everton ahead. Jordan Clark coming in. Offside is he? No. Clark scores for Leeds. And Everton looked towards the linesman who says Clark was onside. And Everton now have pushed nine players forward for this corner. Only Bernard has hung back, and even he is in an attacking position. In fact, they've got ten forward now. Latchford. Oh, yes! Lyons! Nick Lyons, the scorer. Buckley for Everton. Clements outside him. Gets round the back of Rini. Connolly. Still there. Connolly. It's there, but it's a goal, yes. Clements got the final touch. But Connolly will get the credit. And David Harvey may have to take part of the blame. He finds Yorath. Good play by Terry Yorath. Oh, and a fine goal, too. What about that one? Well, he scored a beauty against Sheffield United last week, and now he puts Leeds back in the match here. Terry Yorath. A jump by Mills. A touch by Murdoch. 
a whack by Craggs. And young Alan Willey there again, only 17 years old. Turned inside, what a good run, a chance here for Armstrong. Yes, 1-0 to Middlesbrough. Oh, out of uh, defence it came. Chivers played back for Ralph Coates. Crossed in again, a good piece of running there by Jimmy Neighbour. Yes! What a fine goal by Jimmy Neighbour, making it 1-1 with only 13 minutes gone. Peters played on for Chivers again. Maybe just a little too delicate in that situation, but it's fallen for Tottenham. And here's John Pratt. No, that won't reach Coates. Perryman in quickly, and he loses it to Saunas, the short pass that's accurate to Murdoch and the long one that he hopes will get Mills away. And Beale goes in, and Mills is there! Well, that was a mistake by Tottenham. And the number eight, David Mills. Chance for a quick break by Sheffield United now, with Curry waiting for Woodward to run. There he goes, and he's onside! A goal! Woodward does it! strength that wins it for Rangers Scott's in the middle playing at the far side up back to McKean and a superb goal for Rangers Jardin way down the right Johnston Young Johnston McKean's unmarked on the right he gets it Oman being stretched on the right Derek Johnson in the middle for the cross. Number five. Young with the corner. Jackson up this time in the box, but it's a low one. Scott. Coming a twin. Coming back to Kilmarna. Gets a goal. to Robinson with a great chance, Robinson going in, he must score, he does Bobby Robinson has scored beautiful move by Dundee exactly 15 minutes played in the second half and Dundee have broken the deadlock Forsberg O'Neill trying to force him wide comes inside well it back from Kennedy. It's Kennedy again. And he's made it. Ray Kennedy, the scorer. His third goal in the league this season. Francis. Mansoon is done it. It's there. Jerry Francis. And Hansini either stepped over it or else got the faintest of touches but I'm sure Francis gets the credit and here's Nielsen adding a little bit of support now to what is a desperate attack for Fulham Lacey was right in there and oh he's punched into his own goal by Stephanie terrifically funny motions in June 1974 two former magpies arrived at Roca Brian Pott Robson had left Tyneside for West Ham, but he came back to the North East to become one of Wearside's most consistent goal scorers. Number six, Porterfield. Robson! Here he goes. Right foot shot. Sides have had a crowded fixture list recently, but from what we've seen here, Newcastle looking the pressure of the two. Marsh for Stoke. Well, that's Sammons and the equaliser. The first test that the Newcastle defence has really had, and Jeff Sammons has scored. 
Healy is up again, way beyond the far post. Tudor! That's a brave. Mahoney, they're getting some room now, Stoke. Good effort! believe it but it went it off the post well that's a good ball by Radford and Kelly has found it well getting in behind those Rangers defenders may have delayed just a little too long but he's got it across Radford is there with the header played down for Keir and Webb he wasn't sure how he stopped it but he did now Radford again cross once more on the far side is ball Keir is there again and Brian Keir has scored Brady played for ball again. And that goes off Brady for Francis. This might be the chance for the break now for Queen's Park Rangers. Bowles going up on the left. Francis going well. And the shot by Bowles. Yes! 1 1. Took it so coolly, Stan Bowles. And that's the answer to all the booing and the best possible answer from Queen's Park Rangers' point of view. Or does he leave himself a target again for the Arsenal fans? Bowles against Rimmer, and a chance for Rangers to go 2-1 into the lead, and he's done it! Now Armstrong right in there, beaten in the air by Gillard. Kidd is right up there too, and it might come now for Radford! Yes! Radford has done it! 2-2! It's a good ball for him too. Train getting a little tick. He knocks it away. Fuckin. Can do them. Green with. And he scored. Peter with. Comes on as the substitute and scores. Just like Dugan did last week. And Dugan had a, a part to play in that one. Dugan in a chase with Green. The deflection comes to Richards, and number 11 was in with a shot which was Bailey, and he should have scored. Steve Bailey certainly had to have a golden opportunity there. Park in. That's a good one. And it's there. Gary Park in. Drive it. Corner by Woodward. There it is, raking across the goal mouth and bulleted away by Latchford. Bradford. Now everybody's onside, they all go surging back into the area. Woodward, a touch, a goal! Deirdre, a low cross by Woodward, and it's Billy Deirdre who puts Sheffield United one up. Woodward running well, Woodward a beautiful pass, the goalkeeper's committed, and a good save, but he's out of his area. Di Davis did very well there because that was a beautiful pass from Bradford to Woodward, and Davis had to come right out of his area. Bradford. Field, Woodward, a shot, a goal, what a beauty, what a beauty by Alan Woodward, a great goal. Thanks, Everton know, and of course Sheffield United know, that a goal for Everton now, and it wouldn't look quite as comfortable for the Blades. Connolly. Lyons, a goal, this time he went in. Yes, and the back header, Buckley is being pulled, what a good goal, despite the fact that he had his jersey pulled, he kept going and it's 2-2, a fine goal by Mick Buckley. He had to get the swaying ship back on course before Leeds season collapsed, match of the day viewers watched with interest. Giles is in there with Jordan, Clark! Palmer. 
Lindsay. It got a deflection, but Mackenzie's been worth a goal this afternoon. takes another corner for Tottenham, it's a deeper one this time towards Mike England, Perryman in there, and what a good goal it is, Stevie Perryman, a brilliant goal for Tottenham. And it'll be a free kick, which Perryman will take for Tottenham, a little chip in there I would think for Chivers or for England, no it's a deeper one for Peters coming up on the far side, and Chivers has scored! Finally put in a bit of trouble there to Lloyd. And Oki gone right up into the attack. Steen is onside. And it's a goal. And the sucker punch really, really caught. And Middlesbrough that time, they're appealing for hands. Mills. Cranks. Sanus, a beautiful ball. Eleven complement back in defence. Armstrong to Sanus. And an old goal. Forty-three minutes, and Oki has put for his own goal. And his crags moving on the right. His crags. Yes. A lovely running by Foggen and Hinton. Catlin Cross has scored oh. A bit of slack play by Middlesbrough then That second pop for a goal seems to Knocked a bit of the stuffing out of them. And here's Holmes and his three all. A lovely flick from Alderson. Willie Madra. One of the bright young stars of English football. Now Mills, he ran beautifully on the blind side and a fine save, but that's it. Nobody is. Now here's Hall. Got four to find. Kennedy! Keegan! Kellerman. Mate. Push Doy going into the middle. Still Mate. And what a signal for Liverpool. When the second leg in Budapest was drawn nil-nil, that away goal at Anfield. Brian Hamilton for Northern Ireland. And Beatty is there with Johnson. And it was knocked in by Hamilton. Good play between Marsh and Bell. Here's Henson. 
Bell moving to the far post. He's run an awful long way. Well, he started that and he finished it, and there's no doubt about that one. Hudson, Stoke at the moment seem to be uh, so well in control, and here's Mahoney going past Dempsey with a lovely swerve, and Hurst wanting it played on and played on perfectly for Hurst. The shot is to go. Long, long throw. And try, yes! Well, the big man did it at the end. And there's the corner. Oh, and Holly straight in there by Hazelgrave. Well, that was terrible marking by Chelsea from the corner. Can Droy do it again? Or will it be Dempsey this time? Cook and Garland are also in there. That long throw comes raking in again. And Dempsey is there! Well, they are congratulating Joy and they are congratulating Garland. Smith again right in there. They've still got to get it over. Can Hudson do it? Hit low. Oh, and Smith is there! That's going to be it! Robinson who puts it in. Jimmy Robertson, and that's 3 2 to Stoke. Cook right in there, Britain 2. Play for Kemba. Kemba again, his shorts are ripped. Britain crossed in once more, that's too close. Kennedy make it this time? Yes, for Highway! Not a bad cross. Oh, and the chance is there, and Hickton has taken it! Hickton, one nothing Middlesbrough! Armstrong. So many of them in there, Hickton. And that is number two, Alan Froggen. Lee, leave it out. Neatly done, Hector, and he's got it back again. Kevin Hector, so lazy, so easy, 2-1. Froggen, fine ball, Mills. He's gonna chip it, and he scored it. What a beautiful goal! Giving the ball away to Hector. Hinton. And Hinton squeezes the goal in. Would you believe it? Down for Hawley. Good ball. And a good shot! What a goal! What a goal! Hawley. Watson lost out on the hat. Wagstaff! the long one but he's got Galvin short there's the long one dear Wagstaff trying to turn again oh and the goalkeeper saved it that's it and it's left and Mark to the far post Johnson it must be it's the goal beautiful goal beautiful goal McCluskey rifling that one forward to Dean dangerous what a goal what a goal There's a corner from Duncan away to the far side to Stanton. Cropley heading it in. Harper's there is the ball. Joe Harper has finally got through for Hibbs. John's at the edge of the box looking for Wilson. And that's a beautiful goal. That is a beautiful goal. Edwards back to Stanton. Room for a shot. Turns it through. Edwards is onside. 
out in front of chance for Harper and it's a goal. Fine run by Hood, resisting a lot of challenges there. Murray moving in, Field McGrain coming up. Murray to Deans, Deans a lovely dummy. Fine play by Deans and a great goal. Superb goal by Deans. Harry Hood holding it up beautifully. Down to Johnston, what a chance for Johnston. Where's the goal? Deans his hat trick. 5-2. 22 minutes, two goals in two minutes for Deans. Breaks to Murray, Murray to Roglish. Wilson inside. Back to Doglish, Murray square. Murray on the ball now, there's plenty of time to line up a left foot shot, and it's the goal. Classic goal, Steve Murray the scorer. 24 minutes of the second half. Lovely play by Mano out in front, good save by Hunter, the ball's over the line, it's the goal. Joe Harper scores for Hibbs. Thomas again with the cross, here's Shannon getting out! The bell. Keegan. Bell. He was pulled a bit. Here's Shannon. They're queuing at the far post. Bell. And England true to their work. They got one and they've been looking for more ever since and now they've got three. Middlesbrough was soon on the receiving end. Crags. Pat to Lampard. Robson, all played on nicely by Robson for Brooking, who's got Gould away on the right. Using their wings well, West Ham. Bobby Gould with a shot, and Robson! Oh, what a goal! Keith Robson! A beautiful goal! Jennings. Oh, and look how Brooking has escaped them all with Gould in the middle. And it's there! It's an own goal off Boom! But it's number two. And Brooking with a smile all over his face takes the credit. Taylor is up there, looks as though he might uh, have a crack at it. Billy Bonds is in there, Graham Patton is in there, and Lampard is in there. They're really queuing up behind this West Ham free kick. I would fancy Patton. Oh, what a goal! Graham Patton, number three, with two goals in a matter of three minutes. Up towards Mackie Moyle, Cahoon got above him, and Curry. Curry a good ball for Spate. Has space on the left if he moves out there, going inside. Did and takes it to the left. Dearden running well, surely, yes, feel the finishing touch, Dearden made it, Dearden the man who made the goal with a lovely change of pace, the finishing touch put there by Tony Field for his fifth goal of the season. 
Cahoon. Eddie. Down towards field again. Is field onside? Surely, yes. That is a goal. That's two for field in two minutes. Curry. Again, a loose sort of pass by Tony Curry. Normally times them so much better than that. Carr to the near post. McIlmoyle. Moyle. A good one. Oh, what a good goal. Superbly worked. And Huey McIlmoyle Moyle superbly positioned. Houston. McElroy back to him. McCalliog. And on again for McElroy. Good early cross. This away wasn't effective. And the one from Pearson. Houston. Pierce, well kept in. Just Macari in the middle. Greenoff going in to and a deflection for the second goal. Kaliog again. McElroy and Houston. Macari's head up. Pearson. Number three. Kaliog. Green off. Touched out for McElroy. Four hungry forwards waiting in the area for a cross. McElroy goes for the shot. Pearson! He's hat trick! And again it comes from McElroy's cross from the left. Whitworth, Samuels, Weller down for Samuels again to hit. What a beauty! That's goal number 50. He's got it. John Samuels over here. Giles, McQueen. Yes, McQueen has opened it up. McQueen, who got the deciding goal in the first leg in Budapest, comes right in. Joris, unmarked. Hit the bar. Yes! Lemner, I think. Lemner! Lemner does it on his comeback. Got to hit the mark. Clark. Yara, that's great! And it's so easy! That ball went through eight or nine white jerseys without... Giving Peachy quite an afternoon. New Rod Reach was there. And a good cross and Ferguson. Oh, he did it! What a debut for Ronnie Ferguson! Cox. Cox giving Calvert the same treatment he gave Peachy. Play on, says the referee. McMorty! What a goal! Oh, my word! Wednesday aside, which have claimed to have made many chances this season and not scored them. Otherwise, they wouldn't give up. And this is Sunley. Here's another one. He deserved it. Oh, and a break on for Hibbert. Have to hurry. Talbot's coming back to him. It's on for the shot. Left footed. What a beautiful goal. Oh, what a, what a smasher. this throw in for Lambert. Talbot wants of time to lift it in. Good head out by McCall. Bill Jan. Still choose for Weimark stopped. Woods. It's a goal. It's an equaliser. Clive Woods has got it. It looked very much as is the corner. It's a good one. And it's in there. What a fine goal. Munro. That went in like a rocket off Munro's head. 2 1 Wolves. Faulkner, but still dangerous. This is Alan Woodward. It's 
to field. Awkward one for Spate, but he controlled it well. And that's a good ball forward too. And it's a chance for Curry. Yes. Appeals for handball as that ball went through. Marsh couldn't pull it down the end and get a second chance. Marsh. Morgan. The side square of him. Malone, three to find against three in the middle. And own goal by Bobby Moore! What a repeat of last season when Alan Mullery put through his own goal. This time it's the former England captain, Bobby Moore. Again, Hughes having a go at Cutbush, who did well. So did Conway. And here's Hughes again. Robson, beautifully taken! Hughes. Malone. Bobby Moore caught in two lines, Robson! Only 40 feet in the first 20... Robson is uh, imploring him for it as well here on the touchline. Keith Robson crossed in towards Bobby Gould. Now it'll come from Brooking. And a goal by Triple Brooking. 2 0 for West Ham. Underneath the goalkeeper. Looks as though Brooking might play a short one instead. Bonds and Lampard are men who are wide of him. He's looked round to see whether Lampard can do it. Yes! Hibbit to Bailey. Played on again. Kitten's onside. Here's the chance now for Wolves. There's Richards and there's the goal. A goal for Wolves. Gone off the boil just for the moment, West Ham, but now can Brooking revive it? That looked like handball. A good decision by the referee. Brooking with a shot. A superb chance. Now for Brooklyn. Goal in a lot of space over on this right touchline. Bonds coming in well to join up with the attack. Still with Billy Bonds, and now with Trevor Brooking. He tried to dash it through, Bobby Gould! Yes! Number five, Bobby Gould against his own club. You know what he wants? He wants some more bubble songs. So it's Powell to Richards. Break by Barry Powell now through the middle with Hibbert on the far side. Here's the cross again, and Kinden has made it uh, two for Wolves. Anyway, there's a very, very big wall who are not ten yards from the ball. As Styles tries the shot, he goes straight into the wall. Page, Birmingham trying to get onside, and they're all right. Yes, and Kendall scores it. Kendall scores it. One nothing. Archie Styles up to take it. Burns getting in there. Yes! Hatton the scorer. Bob Hatton, 2-0. A very simple set-piece move executed with alarming ferocity by Birmingham. Burns could knock on. That's Hatton. 
He's in for his 100th league goal. There it is. Hatton. Goal number three this afternoon for Birmingham. Goal number two for Hatton. And Hatton's 100th goal. Martin with the ball in his hands, but Taylor looking as though he's uh, wanting to have a dig at this. Taylor now as Burns comes in and a beautiful goal! What a smashing goal! And how well this kid deserves it! Hit it. Cuddle! And he's done it! And the youngster has got another goal, so every time he comes in the first team, he pops one in the back of the net. And Smith in action. And it's Kennedy, all on his own. What a tremendous goal by this young fella. And they play him as a midfield ball winner. Smith. Cassidy. McDonald. There's no doubt about that when Silverback gets a ball like that. What a splendid ball to Natras. Bannercliff's on his right. So got five men up. Right there! The better play. <laughs> McDonald. This is five, surely. Side bottom under it. And Mac Bakari in there. And Daly. Over the top. Looked like a trip there. McKenzie! Duncan McKenzie working for a permanent place in this side. In the aftermath of Brian Clough, he had a lot to prove. Giles. Yes! McKenzie again! Foggan, Smith, good shot! Goal! Team get a tremendous reception when they ran out here at 5-3. to three. McKean love to get into the centre, a chance for Rangers in the first minute. And is it a goal? It's over the line. I think it's a goal, yes. Derek Johnson has scored. 30 seconds on the clock. Johnson and Parr lane through the centre. Johnson laying it back. This is Young in shooting distance. Oh, and what a shot, and what a goal. That was McKean to Farlane. Farlane inside the box. McDonald must score. The goal, 3 nothing. Two goals in five minutes for Rangers. So Rangers in the driving seat at the moment. Young with a corner kick. And it's number four. Ball number four. Derek Parlane. This is Young back in his own penalty box, defending well. Up to McLean. This is Young. 
through to McKean. He's onside, could be number five if he doesn't overrun it. Beautiful goal. Beautiful goal by Bobby McKean. Treinta y cinco minutos. Se han cumplido ya. Y gol, señoras y señores de Kini. Kini acaba de aprovechar el desconcierto inicial de la defensa escocesa para batir por bajo el marco de Harvey. A los 35 minutos justos, España 1, Escocia 1. Veamos la repetición. Reshak. Acosta. Kini Planas avanzando por el centro. Kini solo, atención. Y Kini, señoras y señores, acaba de marcar el segundo tanto de la noche. El avance de Planas enviando el balón sobre Kini. Tiró este, pegó en el portero, pero el propio Kini acabó de remachar el segundo tanto. Henson. Bell. Bell for Chewett. Oh, what a start! What a start! Lever and Yates. Birchinall. Yes, it may have got a touch on the defender, but it's Birchinall's goal. Now it's Bell. Oh, chance for Daniels. Yes, he's got it. Exactly the same thing has happened in the first half. They scored immediately. Play on, they had the advantage. Good ball too. It's come to Tuart. Marsh. No. Daniels, yes. His second. And away by Bell, and now it's Tuart. The others are arriving quickly. In fact, it's four against three. Here's Marsh. That's for Bell. Thank you very much, 4-1. Derby were running into form, bolstered by new signings Francis Lee and Bruce Rioch. Newton. Taken by Harper. Hector is the player down there. Lee, Newton, Rioch. Well, I must say, one would have put money on him. It was on his favourite left. We're looking for the big man, number five, Chris Nickel in the box. He's right on the goal line. Nickel up. Shot on for Brown. That's Halton. Chica Halton in one nothing. For Graydon again. Caradis goes on running. The ball is too long for it. No, it isn't. Good gracious me. Graydon. Robson now. Phillips going in. Still going in for Graydon. Must be one here somewhere, surely. Yes. Jennings, Gould turning it back for him and Jennings goes on, Robson, 1-0. Better away by Bonds, Smith. Oh! Earned the Rams a third round tie against Yugoslav opponents, the first leg at Derby. So Vladic has got a vital away goal in the opening moments of this match. His ball. Hector Ball, yes! Born again. Webster, Hinton. Oh, what a brilliant goal! A superb goal by Alan Hinton! Here's Gemmel. Ball! Will it go? Yes, it does! Mackenzie, this is Jordan. Now Chewett.
Cherry. On the right foot. Also a rare year for Manchester United. They were in the second division. 60,000 were at this game. Curry. Oh, good ball to Pearson. He waited his moment. Still Pearson. Superbly struck. Malone for Sunderland. Here's Kerr. He's got men over. Yes, Hughes. Robson. Hughes wants the return and he's getting it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pearson. He's done well. Done very well indeed. Morgan the scorer. And Ron Davies making his debut for Manchester United, having signed from Portsmouth in midweek. A player who's managed the goal every other match during his career, which is way into the 500 games. And his debut will last for 31 minutes, a player who once scored four goals against United here five years ago. And here he is in action immediately. And a good ball too. Jerry Daly. McElroy! Including Ian Evans and Jim Cannon have come up from defence. And referee Williams deciding he wants those Charlton defenders back the full 10 yards. Venables or Taylor? It's Taylor curling it in. And on the far side, Cannon going in. Jim Cannon has scored for Crystal Palace. And so it worked for Palace. Curtis will take the kick. Jeffries. They really have got worried, uh, Charlton, by these free kicks. And not surprising, because Swindlehurst now, who has got perhaps the fiercest shot of all, and I wouldn't mind betting he's going to have a go. No? Taylor. Curling it. Deflection. It's a crossbar. 10-10. 2-1. Nicky Chenadon. Smith to Howard. Front. There he is, and it's a goal. That was a real tracking goal. Hartman. Short. Boss, it's the equaliser. Lovely bit of work by Chut on the right. And Kennedy. McDonald. It's there. Husband trying to get in front of Noble. Ghana. Straight to Collins with late James out on that left and Brennan just behind him. There goes Brennan again. And a good one. He's got a powerful left foot with Fletcher coming to the near post. Hankin with a chance, an easy goal. A good goal by Burnley. Comfortable one there for young Ray Hankin. With Garner now on the goal line for the corner. Faulkner. The equaliser, three minutes 
just before half time from John Faulkner. Fletcher going down the middle. Leighton James against Thompson. Beating West first of all. And now it's Rodaway to Leighton James and he's through. He's in. That's a fine goal. So Leighton James puts Burnley ahead. Rodaway wins it, but it's Peter Anderson. Too strong for Jimmy Ryan, but he's got time to turn. It's a good cross too. It's a good header. and on his left he's got Brennan on the right over there is Leighton James begging for the ball James fences his chances against Thompson but West has gone over to help him first time quick and here's Hankin yes and that was a good bit of play again by Leighton James Forsyth back to McDonald back to Forsyth Forsyth across the young nice move Going to Parley in a lovely move, ball spins first Parley and again a goal. Beautiful goal. Ten minutes exactly. So Sandy Jordan against Hamish McAlpine. And that is it. Back header there towards Fleming. And a great goal. Beautiful goal. And United have got that early goal that they wanted. And George Fleming is the man who has scored it, filling his screen there with that big, big smile. Ball spinning across. That was a bad cross on McDonald. United had a distinct chance there and didn't use it to the best advantage. McLean, the linesman says no. And McLean could make it 3 1 if he gets it across. And he does. A remarkable goal by McLean. United claiming offside. And is it an on goal? It is an on goal. Colin Jackson has headed the ball into his own net. And it is three goals to two. Jardin winning that back. Jardin coming through. Chips it in. And it's a great goal by Jardin. Great goal by Jardin. And I would say that's just about it. 32 minutes. John Bond took over from Ron Saunders and steered them straight back into the top flight. That's from McDougall. Lamour is the defender. Miller coming in. And what a start for Norwich. Johnny Miller, the scorer. Miller. Now Gil Reese back helping. Cardiff on the break could make it interesting here. It's four against three. Anderson going to the right. Charles in the middle, so to is Finiston. And Reese has scored. In 1975, Norwich were promoted and also reached the League Cup. McKenzie. Short for Knowles. And hit in by Knowles. And well taken. What an extraordinary goal! The goalkeeper threw it in his own net. Knowles. Coates backing up. And here's the cross coming over, but Clark has plenty of chance to get that away, but only as far as Field. There's a deflection. Chivers is in there, and that's number two, Martin Chivers. Spurs are two in front. The free kick is coming from. About 21 yards out. Noel's going to have a dip. Yes, he is. And it's in the net. Cyril Noel's. 3-0. Hatton facing his own goal. Looked in trouble. Styles out. Sounds. Fields aiming for Robertson, gets it on for Greenock, that looks useful, that's a good one, 
What a goal! Jimmy Greenoff. One nothing, Stoke. 15 minutes gone. And that is a goal that Jimmy Greenoff will remember for a long, long time. And he'll get it in the back twice, in fact. Hudson takes it quickly. On for Moores. Might try one. Did. Scores number two. Now that's a way to take a free kick. Referee Q having given the foul. Ian Moore's cash in on it. 28 minutes into this first half and Stoke take a 2-0 lead. That was a beauty from Jimmy Greenoff. It's 3-0. Jimmy Greenoff, captain of Stoke, former Birmingham player, really punished Birmingham for some very slack marking men. The five-man wall and almost five men in a position to take the kick. Houston, try a goal! Houston directly from the kick, there was a hole in the wall. Good corner. It's a goal! The United defence caught flat footed by David Sutley. Come on, says Mr Baker, get on with it. Thompson right into the area. Got your goal! Harvey! Red shirts, one blue and white. Shaw shoots a goal! What a goal! My word, it, it didn't matter whether it was a penalty or not. Bernard Shaw's put it away with a blistering shot to make it 3 1, and what a game! McCallyog across. It's going to be forced in by McCall. Morgan. Outside him goes Forsyth. Forsyth's low cross, Davis, no Pearson, it is in fact Pearson who makes it 3-3. Somehow this afternoon they've created danger every time one has been awarded. There's been panic stations in defence and near misses and three goals. Chipped up, suddenly, a goal, it's in, 4-3, suddenly. Everybody's gone up except Greenhoff and Stepney. Looked like handball in the area, but it's not cleared yet. It's... Yes! McCallie has made it 4-4! Four -four. As the ball bobbed about in the area. Callaghan again. Clever lob! Kennedy! again for Portsmouth. Marinello. Oh, it's a goal! Scored by Mellows. Monker to take the free kick. It's a penalty. It is a penalty. David Best. Facing now, Billy Hughes. Two goals to one. Mellows, and I've got the goal for Portsmouth. Porterfield. It's 3-1. Uh, 
Now that's the second time we've seen Bess having to run outside his own penalty area, being left stranded. And he's already a two-place dribble past him. Now, is he onside? He is onside. The fans' only taste of success came in the Texaco Cup, a somewhat less than four-star competition which the club won for the second year, overtaking Southampton, who held a single goal advantage from the first leg. Clearance by Blythe, but more upwards than forwards. Tudor's header. Bruce. Always a possibility that Newcastle will be able to catch Southampton stretched in these situations. Tudor pulled across and Cannell. Hunter getting in behind Duncan and Lambert now is with England. Can he get by him now? Colin Viljohn. Yes. What a way to come back. What a fabulous way to come back when you've only got nine men on the field. So Ipswich Town's first corner. Up goes Hunter. No. A great bit of work there by Ipswich. And now it's Lambert again. Yes, this time. That's the way they hit him. There's England. Nice control by Bill John. And there he goes. He's onside. It's Roger Osborne. He's got a chance for his first league goal. Still going, Roger Osborne, yes! No ill feeling between Hudson and McKenzie. The Stoke defence, which might have been caught out, gets back and it's 11 men back for Stoke. That's Bremner for McQueen. Oh, a goal off the body of Chilton. A lucky goal in the end, but beautifully worked. Queen, our lovely ball from the free kick. Clark. Jordan. The back header for Lorimer. Good goal. Peter Lorimer's ninth goal of the season. The player who was left out to the side by Jimmy Arfield a few weeks ago to give him a rest to recover his sharpness. It was sharp enough there. Leeds having to go sideways and backwards to find a bit of space. What a lovely flick by Yorath. Well done. Yorath still going. Bremner will take it over. Now Clark on to Yorath. It's there, Yorath. Three. Yorath started it inside his own half and Yorath finished it. Curtis with all that flank free for him. Time to set himself for the cross, and it's hit deep away from Keelan. Ains goes shot off the line. And Hart is the scorer. Hart. Tong for Ains to chase and a gap ahead of him. Pulled it across now for Walsh. Good shot! What a superb goal. wants it and Morgan turning it all on but it's not coming across now it does and McCurry scores Rangers were a team on an upward curve afraid of nobody winning at White Hart Lane Bowles oh beauty Stan Bowles Taylor Campbell, Taylor, and seven Liverpool players look at the goal scorer, Gordon Taylor, Campbell to Taylor, 
And he's got Ram McDermott. Into the last seconds, and Bob Hatton scores and makes it for sure. Garland. There's his cross coming in. Oh, my goodness! Yes! there knows that he had a hand in it as well but Brooking taking this corner for a change it will come for Coleman Curly again Bobby Gould is right there and Gould is equalized one run and Bobby Gould has done it he's been kept quiet for so long in this game Horsefield hails. Yes, it's in now. It looks like the big blonde of Goldthorpe that's done it. Freeman stopped the first shot. Yeah, one goal down. This is a dangerous moment now. A chance for them to get this equaliser. They've driven for, but not too inspiredly. Chutchman. It's in. Barn finished it off. It was Chutchman. He seems all right, but he certainly took a nasty crack from the ball. And Kennedy. It's a beautiful goal. Twenty-three minutes gone in the second half. Smith, number eleven, to take the free kick. United who lead two goals to nil. Kennedy, the man who started the goal rush to take it. And it's a goal! Judah has scored. And a beautifully faced corner by Kennedy. And once again, that arch opportunist, John Tudor. Money. Intercepted there and a chance for St Johnston. Rook. Rook coming straight through. Inside the box. Drives it in and it is a goal for St Johnston. Beautifully taken by Jim Rook. Eight minutes gone. And a sensational start by St Johnston. So it's Pat McCluskey versus Derek Robertson. So that's it, 26 minutes gone, and that takes the pressure off Celtic. Pat McCluskey, an expert, they hit penalty kick in the 26 minutes of the match. Dalglish, beautiful ball. Twelve minutes played in the second half, and a brilliant goal by Kenny Dalglish. Infield to Callaghan. Five minutes to play. Connery to Hood. There's a cross. Murray heading down. And it's a goal. Stevie Murray. A trickler. Under the keeper's legs. And that's it all over. St Johnston's gallant fight back has ended. But he was a great crowd pleaser and he was a cute goal scorer too. Clark getting up, but so did Munro. Here's Gray. Oh yes, he scored. Frank Gray has scored for Leeds. With a shot which I'm sure the goalkeeper could hardly have seen. Here's Giles. Oh dear, Clark in the chance by cross. Mackenzie. 
Oh, superb the way he took it. Duncan McKenzie, the scorer. They put in a tremendous spurt after Christmas, starting at Main Road, where one man had a match and a moment he would never forget. There's Davis. Gemmell. Brave header by Newton, who now has a chance. And scores superbly. Marsh. Lee, interesting, very interesting, oh, look at his face, just look at his face. Simpson, McNabb, Kid. Story asking for it, Kid moves away from him. Clipped up for George, headed away by Hemsley, it's Kelly to pick it up and put it back to Simpson. Simpson teeing up for a shot, and deflected all Brown, but no, George finishing it off. Now Storey. Half hit one by George, despite handball, Woodward is away. Woodward, go! McDowell, wide on the right and unmarked, Johnny Harris. McDowell, Harris is there again. That's Holland, that's a goal. Oh, it looks so simple, didn't it? So substitute, Johnny Harris is the man who lays it on. Jeff Sammons, five goals this season. Is this going to be his vital sixth goal? He's on now to get the equaliser for Stoke. Sammons against Day. That's it. 1-1. 25 minutes into the second half. Jeff Sammons ties it up at 1-1. There goes Queen. Oh, a fine goal! Jerry Queen! 16 minutes gone and it's 2-0 to Orient. Davis and Daniel waiting to come in from the far side. Here's Todd. Oh, yes! Right through Derek Downing's legs and Jackson couldn't see it. Colin Todd, the scorer, a well struck goal.
is Todd. Rioch trying to get round Allen. Todd! Oh, it's there! Colin Todd has done it again! And the Orient faces are as crestfallen as Derby's are jubilant. First time ball from Neil. Cormac, Tosak. And Peter Shilton only got the palm of his hand at it. Tosak, back for Hall. In about the first minute, about the first minute, aye. Which, uh, you know, that was nice, and uh, I was pleased. You know, I was pleased for myself and my family, but I was also pleased for Jimmy Anfield at the team because it was Jimmy and Curry's made come back. smack in the middle of the goals cars corner Lloyd jumping Kendon with him Alderson Craven stretched for car again that's Lloyd that's a goal it's 2-1 Mark coming towards the near post. We're into injury time of this very tight game, which so far is being led by Ipswich by one goal to nil. It's Johnson now with a chance to go up cracks. 
Johnson with a man on his left. Johnson. through there to Graham. McElwain's making ground on the right. Lovely chance here for Pettigrew and a great chance for Motherwell and a beautiful goal. A beautiful goal for Motherwell. All against the run of play. Pettigrew the scorer. Scored four last week. That's his first. Murray still has it. Good play by Murray. To Wilson. Referee says no. Watson got down by Wilson. Referee says no penalty and he was closer than any of us. So away come Motherwell. This is Pettigrew. Graham in the centre. Chance for Motherwell. And it's there. 2 0. 19 minutes gone. Bobby Graham scores goal number two. Douglas fighting for possession. Glavin wins it. Finds McGrain. Forward to Douglas. The Gleesh looking for McGrain in the overlap, flicks it forward, a chance for Deans. Lays it back to Hood. Shots blocked by McLaren. Douglish out in front. Down comes Deans. Hood flicks it in and it's a goal. Harry Hood has scored for Celtic. 26 minutes gone. Chips it forward, McCluskey's there. Money. To Douglish. Walks with him out in front, a chance for Hood and a goal. 2 2, great goal, 11 minutes in the second half. Lavin under pressure, been challenged by Taylor, won by Michael Waith. Chance here for Motherwell. This is Pettigrew, outnumbered though, still has it. Chance of a lifetime for Pettigrew, and it is there. Incredible goal. Fantastic match. He was the sixth manager in ten years, but he inherited the nucleus of a sound team. Villa was soon heading for their third League Cup final. Graydon took it early. And McDonald scores. Back from James. Good tackle. Here's Little. That's a good ball out of Graydon. Goalkeeper covering the angle but didn't make it. And Ray Graydon's 20th goal of the season. Up for Draper. Ball to cross it to. Must be. It is. Gary Moore, the scorer. A useful match in midfield. Here's Kong. Opens it right out to Knowles. Duncan. Bradford. Field. Dearden. Curry. Curry. Curry now doing the Johnny Giles job and picking the ball up from the goalkeeper. That's a useful ball for Field. He's got support with Eddie in the middle. There's Eddie! Yes! And a reward for an away side who didn't stop attacking. And he's onside. It's Woodward and Jennings will have to come. 3-1. And how about that for a coolly taken goal? Stopped a West Ham attack developing. But, uh, Lampard now to Brooking. 
Played on beautifully by Brooking for Pat. There's the shot, and there's the goal by Billy Jennings in his comeback game. Of course, because it's inside the uh, penalty area, otherwise it would be a penalty, so he's got to play it there for Masson. Through the wall to go! Don Masson has equalised for Rangers, and Mervyn Day could do nothing about that but sit in the... Drawing the ball on his shirt. And knowing now he'll have made up his mind where he's got to put it against the massive frame of Phil Parks. Some six foot two, six foot three of him. A man who's played for England. Billy Bonds, the man with the skipper's responsibility for West Ham. Oh, in off the post! The Bows are ringing around up to Park. They will play Bows. As cool as you like. And he scored! And that's 2-2, the great smile of triumph from Stan Bowles. Brings the score back to 2-2. There are bulls everywhere. Salmon's there. Oh, and that is in there. Now it was Hurst and Munro went together and Hurst has scraped it in. Fetching under it and Worthington trying to go past him. Now Weller. Chased by Sammons. Worthington now. Weller. That's Glover. That's 1-1. One, one. There's the equaliser. 1-1 one, one, and the crowd erupts around behind Chilton's goal as at last the great man is beaten. And Norwich themselves, of course, a complicated day, inevitably a lot on their minds. Andy Climax, anxious to avoid injury, perhaps a lack of concentration, real problems, but they've got to drive themselves forward. Appeals half heartedly, but it's still not cleared. And now that's a good shot from Butler, cleared off the line, and now it's in by Seal. Butler shot, and Seal puts it in. And that's 40 seconds. Seal out to right back Calvert. Now Lions out there, and of course York really buzzing. And here's another one. Yes, Jones has scored two 0 and that's 90 seconds. Colin Suggett, he's got a lot of room. They could be punished for this. Suggett, the ricochet. Oh! Norwich City are obviously going to remember and feel that hard game they had at Old Trafford last Wednesday, whereas York City didn't play last week. And Jones now is set free. Can he make it 3-1? Yes! Chris Jones, well hit. And that surely is the end of Norwich City's revival. This convincing-looking scoreline of 3-1 to York as Suggett takes the corner. Forbes chasing this, he's got Maguire behind him. Here's Maguire. And a good one. Oh, well hit. Hey, Paul takes it, and Thompson makes it, and Highway puts it in. You know, I spent my life being fouled, so I wasn't frightened to get it. 25 defeats and 76 goals conceded during a disastrous second spell in the third division, which saw town field an unprecedented 33 different players. For those who had once fought the game's most famous names, a dubious achievement would soon be theirs. The new boss couldn't prevent relegation that season, but he set about lifting City's fortunes the next 74-75, a third League Cup semi-final in as many years. City level with Manchester United, 2-2 after the first leg. So setting up another dramatic night at Carrow Road. Up goes Suggett. Suggett again.
through Peter McGillicuddy, the man who very nearly didn't play. 12 minutes gone, and the shot result is on. for him. Yes! Samuels! So this could be a tense moment for Leatherhead. Worthington, of course, can strike them with his left foot. A floater. And it's in by O! it is it's 2-2 now as well one cross by Samuels Worthington not marked and it's there by Weller Demons good running by Dobson goalkeeper's off his line and does well Tragedy for Jim Fennell, he came out to give Dobson nothing to shoot at, but the ball went away from him and Jim Pearson scores for Everton. On by Lyons, this is Telfer, got Pearson to help, still Telfer, now Lyons, number two. And again the control break. Jim Fennell a bit lucky. Shirts. Good running by Randall, here's Masano! Yes! The goal scored by Masano, with a man within there, Bill Rafferty, played the most important part in it. The crowd going mad! Kenyon, good head out. Lions well onside, but now thinking about coming out. Saunders is getting it to Kerr. What a mistake. Well saved. Bronson scores. Sunderland going to the lead after 10 minutes of play. Franks. That could have been dangerous too. Spragan coming forward for Middlesbrough. Mills comes to Saunders. Saunders a lovely ball. to Craggs. Mills taken down. It must be a penalty. Mills taken down by Trevor Swinburne. The ball had bounced very well for him. It looked suspiciously like offside, but he did get through. And when he got through, Trevor Swinburne took him down. So it's still Mills who's been causing all the problems. And now a penalty for Middlesbrough. Just makes it 2-1, only just... That's Murdoch. Good ball, they were in their own half. It's Mills, David Mills has got the chance. He's taken down again. Is it another penalty? It is. It was very, very close. But Mr. Matheson has got... 
given it. He checked with his linesman. Best header and a good one. Straight to uh, Trevor Brooking. Flipped on this time for Billy Jennings. Yes! Billy Jennings has done it. The breakthrough for West Ham at long, long last. And the relief is there for all to see around Upton Park. Lampard calling Tommy Taylor into the scene. And then losing the ball out as Moss now takes it up for Swindon. He's got Anderson in the middle and Easto. And it'll come now for Peter Isto. Yes, Isto is equalised. 1-1. Well, that really has stunned West Ham. It's a willing car to get this ball into a scoring position for Coventry. Story gets it away. All the same. Good knock on from Radford. Dugdale and Ball will get the equaliser, surely. He has. Alan Ball, 1 1, and he turns to the Arsenal supporters behind that goal and gets a kiss from them. Radford's in there as well. Those are Arsenal fans. Paul Hart arriving into the area. And Terry Alcock as well. Hart number four, Alcock number six, nine is Walsh. And the back header, and the goal by Alcock. So Terry Alcock, who scored the only goal of the last home match, opens the scoring here. Davis, and he might get a chance now. Hughes. Kerr. That's well used. In comes Malone, but Hughes took it off him. Comes to Hallam. Well, it works. Big Hallam, the scorer. Good ball by Hughes. Towers. Robson. Kerr making a run on the right. Malone coming in behind him. Robson has gone down the middle where Hallam is. Comes to Hughes. Hallam, well beaten. Kerr! To it! Total delight now for the Sunderland supporters. Hallam quick to take it because the defenders haven't all come back yet. Here's Pop Robson. A pretty quiet game for him. Kerr. He's been involved in two. Can he make three? Not on this occasion. Well taken by Walsh. Davis is on the far side. Ainsco coming square. That's the ball. That's a good try. What a goal! Story is in there too. Now tossing. And Story up there. Now Brady. Chance to cross in towards Kip. Played back for Armstrong. Oh, hit now. Ball. Yes. the ball on the spot, but I know it's going to be ball who's going to take it. 
Now, can Ball make it his second goal and the second for Arsenal? Can he beat Ray Clements? This could be the killer goal, and the responsibility is with Ball and Clements. Yes! Greenhoff. Aiming for Mahoney, picked him up well. Doyle stays there. Now Hudson. Made a little space for himself. Good attack. That's it. Moores. Air Moores. Air Moores makes it one nothing. With about 30 seconds to go to half time. And brings the Stoke fans up to their feet. Hudson then. Aiming for Greenock. Hudson away from Donaghy. Moores back for Hudson. Too much. He didn't, he did it. He did did not seem possible that he could squeeze that ball past Keith McRae, but he did. It's 2-0. That's what the Stoke fans think about it. Chased by Hudson. Goes for Royal. Now Tewitt. Taken out so easily. Tewitt didn't love it. Salmon's breaking now for Stoke. Hurst out to the left. Moores and Greenoff in the middle. Oh, beautiful. Well done. Moores gets his second goal. That really was superb. 37 minutes into the second half. It's 3 0 Stoke. Ian Moores has scored his second goal of the game. That means he's doubled his score. Could have had himself the thrill of a hat trick then. Dennis Smith galloping forward. And Moores is off again. On for Hurst. Could this be the fourth? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Number four. Jeff Hurst. 41 minutes into the second half. Through the legs. Guthrie. Nice ball with Brace coming onto it. Guthrie coming again. Can he get there? Just cut out by Smart. Brace coming again. Yes. Brace at last gets it. Good run, though, by Morley. Snaking his way into the penalty area. And another corner for Preston. Same position as before. Same kicker as before. Bobby Charlton. And Stars has come up this time. Sadler is on the near post, too. Up goes Mel Holden. He got it. Yes. Well, that's the way they practice it, and it works. Charlton's corner, and Holden flicks it on. But within that goal area, should Malcolm Webster, the goalkeeper, have got kick to United. Boom, fouling McDonald. Now that was a cleverly taken free kick. And he scored! McDonald! Now oh, that's what United wanted. Hard to Craig. Burns. It's there! And Mickey Burns has put Newcastle in the lead. McCullough doing enough to unsettle James. Here's Derek Clark. Oh, fine goal! The rise of Ipswich was finally halted at Anfield. Skid it off Cossack's head. Now Keegan. Goal! Goal! Looking for a quick attack, they've got two against two and no cover. That's Toshak, Keegan, Keegan again. Brilliant, and it's managing Toshak. Cormac to Lindsay, who broke to find space.
Pegging up uh, with Highway out on the right. Number nine. Keegan's gone belting across deep into the penalty area. And it's loose. Cormack! I think I'm really 100% is Jimmy Husband this afternoon. So Steve Buckley, who's got a good left foot, with the free kick for Luton towards Peter Anderson on the far side. Butcher! Oh, no! it again Summerby, Royal and Bell coming Royal, down for Bell Summerby, still Summerby Bell, into the net <laughs> Bell's header Dobson Royal nodding it down for Tewart. And Tewart a good shot! Yes! <laughs> Evidence that they've built up pressure, but they haven't really been able to turn it into clear-cut concrete chances. That was very nearly an own goal, in fact it was, I think, by Horsville. Miller getting involved in there. Glover to Johnson. Johnson getting by Machin. Good run by Willie Johnson. Can he pull one back? Yes. No trouble at all. Joe Mayo. And the run by Willie Johnson. Joe Mayo puts Albion into the lead. And it's Ted McDougall to take it with a chance of equalising. McDougall against John Osborne. Simple as ABC, Ted McDougall with his 17th goal of the season. Up goes McDougall, beaten by Rushbury. Machin's in there. Johnson and Machin really fighting for it. And it's Hughes going forward. He's got a good chance to shoot, and he's got it. And what a quick break by Hughes. And that's the way to finish him off. Hughes to Cantello, well cut out by Mick Maguire. Boyer's gone up there, holding himself back. Maguire now in a good shooting position. The lob, yes! <laughs> Mick Maguire, his first goal for Norwich City. Well won by Stringer, now it's Brown. And straight to Miller. Now, McDougall's gone, herring down the middle. McDougall can get it. A chance for number three, Ted McDougall. A real Ted McDougall classic. Alec Miller over the halfway line to Par Lane, picked up by McDonald. Young moving in for the pass. To Young. Scott ready to challenge. Young getting it across. Chance here for McLean and it's a goal. McLean has scored. After two minutes of the second half, Rangers have broken the deadlock. Rangers won, confirmed and no. Now McKean moving forward, picking it up from far lane. Put it into the chance of the one that's there. Not a good run. Clark. Gray. Jordan is far post. Clark near. Mackenzie between the two. Giles. Oh, he's got a deflection and it's gone in. Oh, what a tragic goal. Dickie Guy going one way. The shot from John Giles was certainly deflected. But Leeds are in the lead. Peter McLean, some good stuff. Here's Robson. 
That's useful. Gregory. It's coming to Nixon. Must be. again for West Ham attacking Gillard with uh, Jennings outside him and that worked well for West Ham a floated cross there towards Keith Robson yes West Ham in the lead within a minute of the start of the second half the ball to Evans McDonald to Leonard another room to turn now it's McDonald he can score here yes a great goal by Villa, and that is McDonald's first goal for the club. Hunter's leg stuck out there, bouncing off, fortunately, and almost free, and Hunter again coming to it, but it's still a Villa with Graydon getting over to Leonard, and a good header, and it's there by Evans. To Woods with Ross behind him. Bill John's in there quickly. Torbert's gone on the left. This is for Lambert. What a lovely ball. Lambert's drive. Yes, Johnson. 2 1. And they're back in it. And the man who made that goal was quite definitely Colin Bill John. Burley. And Bill John turning. Wide out there is Hamilton, but quickly in was Robson. Now Johnson with it, away goes Torbert, it's a good chance for an equaliser now. Past Coombs, and it's put in by Hamilton. <laughs> Going through their minds, I'm sure, is whether they want to win or lose or draw, because uh, a draw and a tough replay at Villa Park is certainly something they don't want. Lambert's corner. Yes! Three two ahead. BT deflected it in. And there on the far post. Taking on Bernard. And getting over the cross for Conway. Just smuggled in. Yes, it's gone in. Busby got the final touch. And that's a shaker for Everton. Corner curled, and a header by Kenyon! So we've had a goal disallowed by each side now, and here's Conway breaking for Fulham. Keeps it in. Now can Busby turn and shoot? Yes! Can he just? Remner will take over. Yorov. Eddie Gray. Gray still going well. That's good. Oh, it's an own goal. A terrible own goal. Oh, what a shattering moment for David Miss. Giles. Greeny ever prepared for the run. Sorry, Matt. Greeny again. Jordan is in the middle, so it's Clark. And 
really thundered in by Alan Clark. And Con is racing hard for it, but so too is Birchinal. Con got there first. Blockley to Whitworth. Peters coming in first. And he's all right, he's onside, isn't he? Is this the breakthrough for Leicester? Turned inside. Oh, and Worthington missed a chance. And yes, it's there by Stringfellow. And Leicester go into the lead. Stringfellow, who finally turned it over. Spurs in total disarray there. Con, well, he ran into trouble there. And Whitworth has had a very good game in defence for Leicester. There's Birchinell's long kick again towards Stringfellow, who's popped up in some unexpected places. Lee. Curled in again now for Worthington. Number two, Frank Worthington. And that could just about be the goal to sink Spurs. And here's Worthington in so much space. Whack it goes to the far side. What a ball. Straight to Keith Weller. And Worthington wanting it back again. Weller taking on his man and going round him. There's the chip inside now. And Lee hits it in. And Samuels makes it three. What a beautiful goal for Leicester. Worked superbly. And the last word for Tottenham. Collins. James. Noble is there. And into the net it goes. And I think it was an own goal. Or was it uh, Peter Noble? Well, Noble gets the congratulations. Makes contact and sets James away. Fletcher is now ahead of him down that line. And comes in to take the pass. And a good pass it was. Hankin. Collins, James, James Cross, and a beauty, Keith Fletcher, Paul Fletcher gets the goal, Curry, Cross coming for Woodward, and he's made it! Pearson getting a flick, but it's gone the wrong way. Aitken on, Leonard charging into the box. Leonard trying to find Graydon, the shot on for him. And a goal! Ray Graydon, one nothing. Ray Graydon, tremendous! Excitement in this crowd. That's Aitken. It's in there. Charlie Aitken scores his first league goal of the season. Charlie Aitken, this tremendous fullback. What a servant. 527 league games behind him. A league record for Villa. 12th goal of his career. There's Duncan Forbes, in fact, adding a bit of gamesmanship by saying the ball is not properly on the spot. So it's a tense moment for Ray Gray. Can Kevin Keelan stop it? Yes, he can, but he's got a chance for a second one go. Graydon scores. 1 0 to Villa. Making room for himself splendidly. Far side to Sumner and McQuaid out in front. Sumner in good position. Drives it in, and it's a great goal. Beautiful goal. Duke Sumner scores. 17 minutes on the clock and a shot goal for Thistle. Alan Ruff. Pat McCluskey. Beautifully tucked away. Perfect penalty. Non scoring free kick. 15 yards inside the Celtic half of the field. Kerrigan to take it. Houston moving in. Lashford misses it. The ball's in the net and it's a goal. An incredible goal by Danny Kerrigan who can hardly believe it. This is Glavin to Hood. 
Nice play by Hood. Called twice by Killican. Hood to Dognish, it must be 2 2. It is! 24 minutes in the second half. Brilliant goal. 2 2 the score, which they deserved on play. So two Thistle players booked. Time ticking away. Doug Leash and Hood, 2-2 the score. Hood, it's there! scored in the Revy mould who held off the mist of time long enough to reach the final of the European Cup. The far side of the ground disappearing once more. McQueen! And McQueen picked up the spare ball. Yoroth. Good flick to Lorimer. That's Giles, always in space. Jordan, Yoroth, Eddie Gray, blocked by two defenders. Eddie Gray, Lorimer! Hatton right up on the line. Gallagher at the back, and Hatton scores! West Ham in white meet Arsenal in the mud at Highbury. Long, long kick. That's awkward. Mancini covering Simpson. Now rocks. And the ball almost beat the ball. Padden. Yes. Alan Taylor puts it in. Bombs. Taylor. Brookie. Taylor number nine. Here's Busby again. Well, that'll fall for Biff Busby, and away he goes, pursued by Blue Shirts. And there are Blue Shirts ahead of him. Oh, and he's in trouble! Yes! Put there by Barrett, and pull him on ahead! Well, got out in front, chance for Graham. Is there? Motherwell have scored 44 minutes, and that from half time, Bobby Graham chops off his 14th goal of the season. With a chance to float a free kick in. Watson already up on the far side. And Bell, yes! 1 0 to England. And Colin Bell is the scorer. There was a deflection there for the credit to Bell. Played down for Shannon. Challenge from behind, which is unfair. And the free kick already taken, and here's Ball now with the cross as McDonald comes in. Yes, Malcolm McDonald number two. Well, all that stemming from a quickly taken free kick, the first goal he scored for England from Malcolm McDonald, putting England 2 0 in the And again, some number eight, Arvin Griffiths, showing it to Dove and then taking it past him. Came back to Griffiths who might well get it. Oh, what a superb goal. A little bit of luck, but how much he deserved it. Whittle, Davis to the left. And so is Thomas, number 10. And again, Wrexham have got six players forward. Tinian has the advantage. Good refereeing again. Four in the middle this time. Wiggle! And the pit of defence absolutely torn apart.
Curtis. Wait deep towards the goalkeeper. Oh, and he's in a pressure! Yes! It's a goal and it's an own goal, really, off the goalkeeper. Well, they come across for Curtis. Now a man looking for an equalising goal for South End as his corner comes in. And Guthrie's amongst the men going for it. Strong, powerful looking player. Brace getting it out again for Tony Taylor to curl it in again towards Little. Now Terry Bresley. Well, he's made a bit of an angle for himself. Yes, it is there. Whether it was Brace who finally put it over the line, but the uh, goal is there. Tut absolutely dumbfounded and beaten. Warman going in first, read that very well. Played it on for Flanagan. What a good ball there. And Flanagan slots it in. Oh, superb goal. Oh, that's Hector. And he was played on. Hector, four minutes into the second half, breaks the deadlock. Kevin Hector breaks his run of unhappiness, his games without scoring, seven in a row, and now he scores the vital goal here. Hudson. Now Hurst. Sammons. And Daniel does the interception. Now it's Hudson. Good ball, Sammons. Far post is Greenock. And that's 1-1. One, one. What a fine goal. And a magnificent goal by Jimmy Greenhalgh. Hudson will take it. Stoke puts Smith forward. And Thomas didn't know that Smith was there. Salmons, Greenhalgh, yes! What a beautiful goal! What a cracker! 2-1 to Stoke. That really was quite magnificent. Stuart Bohm has gone up to join the big men in the middle. It's curling out. It was Mandarin who got there. The deflection for goal. Two deflections. Not just one deflection, but two. Picked up the man who will probably be credited with the goal. Hickton found himself a very useful bit of space. McAllister across, that's two. Sooners made by Hickton, finished by Sooners. Another well-weighted and flighted ball for the sub Willie. Right across, coming out to Sooners. Three, a mistake by Cyril Knowles, and it's Sooners' second goal of the game. Might be prepared to take a few risks coming forward now. And it might be the counter-attacking inspired by Bremner that'll get Leeds a precious goal that'll put all their fears at rest. And now here's Peter Lorimer for Leeds. A cross going in on the far side to Billy Bremner. And here is Bremner with a chance for Leeds. It's a cheeky little chip, and it's there by Billy Bremner. And Leeds have scored the goal that matters. And some of their supporters have come on. Well, that was the moment. And Billy Bremner was the man who found it. The wind assisting those kicks from Mervyn Day. McDowell. Alan Taylor. McDowell went strongly for the return. There's Gould! Curry. Woodward. Sheffield United have equalised within two minutes and Curry got the final touch. Jennings getting up. Here's Padden. Jennings. Oh! And dropped completely by Brown and Jennings has scored. Good throw by Brown to Kamak. Rear up with him, Woodward on the far side coming in now, and Coleman lost it, and Woodward has scored. Three West.
West Ham headers. And the ball now with Gould. As Curry was in the way. And Woodward kept it in and found Curry. Field and Kamak to the left. Still Curry. What about that? A quality goal by a quality player. 3-2 to Sheffield United and Curry the scorer. Hoagley turning it in towards Jerry Queen and Hepalette, yes! The goal given! Nicky Hepalette the scorer. And that with nine minutes remaining. Now Maidley, West is on to him. Hunter, Gray's going down the left wing, cut out by Husband, and away goes Jimmy Ryan. Husband uh, is behind him. Ron Future, and now it's Aston with a chance. Three minutes, and Stewart is beaten for the first time in nine away matches, and it's John Aston to put it in. And a good ball to John Ryan. What a good drive. Anderson. Future in a dangerous position. And it could be the end of them. Here's Jordan with a clear chance. Fuchs' casualness has penalised by Joe Jordan and that could be really bad for them with two minutes to go. And now Leighton James busting away past Rice. Noble calling for it in the middle. There's the cross for him and in it goes! Brilliant goal! And Brady taking the kick. Come out to Nelson! Deflection and cleared off the line by Ingham, and now it's been put in, and I think it's young Rostron again. Yes, it is. Wilf Rostron, his second game for Arsenal, his second goal. Brady out to ball. Back heel, and a shot by Brady reaches Hornsby, and here's Pauling coming in again. Pulled across in a great goal, Hornsby! Another of the Arsenal youngsters does it, and what a very good goal, with Rostron having a hand in it, and Hornsby finishing it off. James, space outside him with Newton galloping into it. Collins. And Newton's run infield gives Collins a bit of space on the touchline. Still got Rostrum to beat though, and he does so now, and there goes the cross, Hankin coming in, beautiful goal! Ray Hankin! Rostrum, getting it through well to Kidd, Hornsby going to support him, and Kidd gives him a beautiful ball! 2-3-2, two, two. Hornsby's second goal of the game, And Burnley just cannot get their noses in front. Rimmer crouches on his line, and James takes a long run and side puts it. Three three. Little tick return ball for Coppel. It ran well for him. It's not a bad ball. If Pearson lets it go, Daly. One nothing. Manchester United. Miller. Tremendous shot by Miller. Edwards, Cancelo. Tony Brown. Good try, and it's going to go in. Tony Brown, who's found his scoring touch in recent matches.
Drayden to take it for a change. Little up on the far post. Nobody at all on the near. Drayden again. That's turning a lot. And it's in. Leonard the scorer. Drayden. Little near post, in comes Hamilton, and he scores! <laughs> Leonard, yes! Keith Leonard's second goal. Salmons and Hudson behind it, and in that sort of mud, I think it'll probably be a, a little touch-off by Hudson for Salmons to have a crack at goal. Lifted it in back, Salmon still having a go at it. Oh, and it's there! Jeff Salmon's a score. And of course, Stoke have another game on Monday against uh, Liverpool, which should be uh, so crucial, particularly if Stoke can get away from here with two points. But Arsenal coming at them again now, with McNabb again taking up an attacking position on that touchline. Now it'll come for Brady. There's a shot by Brady, and oh my goodness! And it's still not away yet. Can Kelly get? Yes, Kelly! He's going to pick up the England player Worthington. He's got Worthington there, and Blockley's come up too with Weimark marking him. In goes Walk. Austin. It breaks for Viljon. Weimark gets up there, beaten well by Blockley. Woods. Hamilton can't turn. Samuels. Samuels driving his way through there, but good play again by Osborne. He's really been a power. Hunter. is Woods jinking about and a good bit of space here for Osborne on the spot, so Joe Laidlaw's going to have to take it again. And he's taken about as much advantage as he dares this time. Well, it certainly looks well forward there, but Laidlaw again. Same place. Pick that one out, he says. Peter Carr the ball with great precision for the free kick. Martin! What a beautiful goal! What a superb goal! Picked up by Stanton. Shader and Duncan on the left. Shader was sprinting downfield and that's a nice cross. There's a great chance for him. And the ball's in the net, and it's the goal. McLeod has scored for Hibs in the 19th minute. A beautifully taken goal. McLean chipping it forward, headed down by Stanton. Wayne just trying to keep the pressure on. McLean, out to Jordan. Cool play by Jordan. A good pass forward to McKean. McKean going on the outside, getting it across. Chance for Steen and a goal! Slough having it knocked off the top of his head. 
but Lacey is there for Fulham, played back again for Bobby Moore. Mullery. Turled in nicely there for Mitchell. Oh, and what a screaming goal! Mitchell! 1-0 to Fulham! What a goal for Fulham! Chipped in again towards Burns. Gallagher's right in there, and Gallagher scored! 1-1! One, one. We've played now ten minutes, and there have been two and a half minutes at least of injury time. The inevitable Giles for Leeds. Jordan, good flick to one now. One now. The referee's happy with the wall. The kick must be indirect. Asensi is there as well. Asensi. One each. Torini. Ranferini. Jordan. Yarath. They've scored them all for just one goal. Hinton there. trying to get there and Riok blasts it and Riok scores it Bruce Riok Riok's 20th goal of the season Derby go in front 1-0 21 minutes of the second half gone McElroy beautifully done great play by Sammy McElroy along the line Pearson And away comes West. Well, as the nearest man to him, but he's some way off yet. In comes Alston. What a beauty. What a beauty from Adrian Alston. But well, he'll be the first to acknowledge. And he's coming over here to make his point that that goal was made by Alan West. Ryan behind him. Anderson's over on the far post if he can chip one up. Blocked by Weller. Adrian Alston with Buckley behind him. But he's passed him. He can get a cross in. And Lockley blocks it. Weller. Casual. So, oh, now a chance, and at last he's done it. Jimmy Husband. McAdam, but McAdam again, and the ball's in the net, and it's a goal. Tom McAdam has scored for Dumbarton in the 27th minute. A remarkable goal. Commander got two chances to get away, took neither. And Tom McAdam chocks up his 20th goal of the season. Oh, and a chance for Dumbarton. It must be 2 0, and it is. Colin McAdam has scored for Dumbarton. 33 minutes, and it's 2 0. And that's an absolute disaster for Commander. It's 
Fleming heading that down. This is Sheed. Sheed flicking it across. Fleming, it must be a goal, it is. Four minutes to play. Cyprus pulling players back. In fact, the place, the penalty area littered with blue shirts. crosses of a ball in the first division. Ball for England. McDonald. Oh. A superb goal. Four for McDonald and four for England. And Thomas's first touch of the match produced it. David Thomas. Ball to Thomas. McDonald, number five. And McDonald becomes the first man since the war to score five in a match for England. Tommy Jackson to take this corner. That's a good one. Alan Hunter. And Hunter's there. And Brian Hamilton. A fine goal from that corner. People walked out once our park on it lifted. Yaris. Griffiths. James making a run, a chance for Wales. James around Naj. Letting fight, it's a Welsh goal, it's a Welsh goal. John Toshak making, making amends for that penalty. It was little Avon Griffiths. Toshak, Reese in the middle. Mahoney. Flynn, he's onside. Mahoney. The second goal for Wales, it's as easy as that. A casual Welsh movement, so we can see it now. Roberts again. Naj, this time in front of Toshak. Nice bit of play. Pinter, Konikovic, and he's still got the ball, and he scores! Is Hamilton and driven by Leighton Phillips? That's for Hamilton. Three in the middle for Villa. Leonard's at the far post, and it's gone in. Again the long kick, and again it's beat the defence. And here's Little. And that's the 100 for the season for Aston Villa. Hay is after him, but that's a good ball by Perryman. Nicely into the path there of John Duncan, who's got Jones in the middle, but problems with Sparrow. Still got it across, though. Now can Jones turn? He's played for Perryman! Yes, and Tottenham has scored! then for Tottenham, Perryman was right in there, it'll come now maybe for Alfie Kahn, yes by Kahn! What a superb goal by Alfie Kahn! Powell, and can Saget get that one, what a fine ball from the excellent left foot of Powell, there's McDougall, Peters, City. 
12 still up there over the far side. McDougal coming to the near post. Up goes Peters. Now Boy up. Maguire to Peters. A lot of confidence about this side now. And they're passing really accurate. What a lovely ball to Suggett, who's left completely free. Now Boyer is really wide open. He must get three. It's a fine goal. And once again, Nottingham Forest paid the penalty for leaving Colin Suggett free. Dobson. Got Jones with him, going outside him. And position now for the cross. Pearson was going up but couldn't meet it. Dobson nodding it off for Smallman. Brown has abandoned his cap. And Gary Jones. Just over half an hour gone. Woodward. Good corner and a great goal. Scored, I think, by Eddie. Field, in steps Buckley, Curry got a foot to it, Dearden, Woodward to his right, coming for the short ball, this is Woodward, out there for Badger, Davis, got his hands to it but it's gone in, scored by Dearden, to all, Bradford, Badger, six minutes left, Field and it comes Curry. 3 2! The last word with Tony Curry and the end of a season of endeavour forever. Hughes to Bolt. Quickly, he's been headed by Jarvie. Arthur Graham really bounced. Headed out by Boyd Graham. And Drew Jarvie scores the ball coming across there. Drew Jar well, nobody could really say Clyde have played badly. It's just that Aberdeen have played better. Away goes Hammerstone, a cut back, and driven in by Miller. Hammerstone, immaculate fullback that he is, running through there. 
towards Joe Jordan. A good leap there by Jordan. Now this could be the moment for Peter Lorimer. Silence here in Barcelona. They're absolutely stunned by that goal. A beautiful goal for Leeds United. Scored superbly by Peter Lorimer. Barcelona breaks through once. The pressure will be enormous on Leeds United then. Here's Gallego with the free kick. Curling in there once again. Flores, yes! Flores has done it! Tolbert. Hit hard and true. And there's a very disappointed Mervyn Day. Nice stop from Holland. Looking. Beatty. And Holland scores. Mills, West Ham moving out. Woods. Those who wanted early, got it early. Four to pull back to. Weimar. Hamilton. Holland. Look at the power, look at the power, what a goal, what a goal! Oh, what a brilliant end to the season for Ipswich! Superb stuff from a young man who's found his way in the England team this season. swiftly from the North Bank where the most of the Arsenal fans are ranked at this moment ball to Brady chipped in once more Osborne in trouble King and he's got it in there Brian Kidd has scored now Sullivan McDougal in for Boy, but handed well. Now Maguire coming in, and what a good goal from Mick Maguire. 26 minutes gone. Suggett, Boyer, back for Suggett. The first time cross, McDougal, and Martin Peters has made a good run. There's Peters, header, and that is vintage Martin Peters. That is what England International is all about timing his run to perfection. Graham again feeling the effects of that big challenge by Duncan Forbes. And a good tackle by McDougall, and now it's two against one. Released beautifully by Suggett. Now Phil Boyer. Phil Boyer against Phil Figgins. There's the shot. There's the third goal. As Boyer salutes the fans behind the goal. Portsmouth committed themselves. And Willie Donachey, the Scottish international fullback here. Daniels, Jimmy Ryan, and Stewart might get this one. Across comes Buckley, beating him. Stewart, good goal. Well, that's a cruel blow to Luton and Keith Barber. Austin over the far side. Out comes Corrigan. Dropping for Jimmy Ryan. It's a good one. Jimmy Ryan must have got it. Andy King might have got a touch. But Ryan did so well. Case. And Case again. Toshak! Leicester prepared to play the offside trap, so Curry had to wait. He found Spate well. Spate field, a quick return ball. Dear don't miss it. Second chance for Bradford. A goal! David Bradford. Curry's corner. The back header, two headers, surely. Yes, Flynn. 
Wonderful goal, Eddie and Flynn work to perfection. Field kept that in, and now Dearden has it. Wants men to run forward. Curry. Curry accelerates. What a goal! What a goal! Sheffield United wanting to get it up the other end. That's for Field, and he's round the back of Cross. And down. Penalty. It's awarded. Four. Keith Eddy salutes the crowd at the back of the goal. And it's one more stride towards Europe for Sheffield United. Jack going in. Well taken by Walker. Jack, this is Dare. Forcing his way through, thinks about a shot, lets one go, and it's a good one. Spinning loose, a chance for Cunningham, and it's a goal! 32 minutes gone. And the Glen Rothes players go absolutely mad. Salah was saying, just lacking this little killer instinct. That's all they're lacking at the moment. Otherwise, as he said, West Ham are there for the taking. But still nil-nil. And maybe it'll be West Ham who do the taking as Holland takes it up now, down the left corner. Billy Jennings screaming for the ball, hitting it first time. Miller gets it. Taylor turns it back, yes! for Patton, Lampard coming up quickly, letting one really wrap there with his left foot. Holland. Oh, what a good ball by Holland there for Patton. And hit well by Patton, number two! And he's done it again! Alan Taylor! Publish making ground instantly, nicely out to McGrain. Again, moving forward, unchallenged to Dalglish. Dalglish for the cut back. Celtic have shown the more consistent class in their moves, but sheer grit and determination. Two minutes to go to half time, and the score 1 0. Wilson gets it. Wilson makes it 2 1. Paul Wilson gets his second goal of the match and puts Celtic into a 2 1 lead. He's throwing down the line, Lennox.
to hit it, which he has, but straight into the wall, which was out very quickly at him. Parlane, who did very well, Parlane. Oh, and it's there by Jackson! Colin Jackson is the man who scored it. But he knows the debt he owes to Derek Parlane. McDougall to Duncan. Still with Duncan. Played now for Ted McDougall. And then for Rio. What a goal! 2 2. Rioch has scored it. Gillard linking on the outside. Bill's yard streaking through. And number nine, Johnson, and his first international, gets his first goal. Within ten minutes of the start, Johnson gets a vital goal for England. Griffiths, oh, a quick reaction, and Griffiths nearly got it in, and he's there this time. Toshak celebrates a real scramble in the goal mouth. Got Toshak available for the back header. That's him. Defence throws, it's 2-1 to Wales. Arthur Griffiths, the little man, whose true international career has started at 33, puts Wales in front. Toshak Paul Watson, England so anxious. So Whitworth, little. So Just the early cross, Johnson! In for two, two! Johnson's second goal, but the players go across to congratulate the boy who crossed it, Brian Little. Johnson, Francis, Shannon. Francis again. Oh, he's shaken off Jardine there. And that's a good shot. Who's there? Jerry Francis. Oh, Jerry Francis, a beautiful goal. He shook off that Scottish defender and a rocketing shot with only five minutes gone. Francis, the scorer. It's with Alfie Conn now for Scotland. Now Francis, chipping it forward to ball. Back again to Francis. It'll give England a lot of confidence, that goal. And it's showing there as Keegan takes it up. And Beattie is the only man up with him. Of all people, the fullback. The chip comes in towards Beattie. And it's there again. 2-0. Two, no. Two goals. In the first six minutes, and Kevin Beatty and Kennedy can't believe it. Whether he's knocked himself out or whether he just can't believe the blows that have hit Scotland, I don't know. Francis. Shannon. Francis again. Several good passes now by England. Colin Bell. Still with Colin Bell. Oh, number three by Bell. Beautiful passing movement, short, simple passes there. Jerry Francis having a word with Ray Clements, maybe telling him which side Bruce Rioch will take the penalty, or rather which side he will hit it. Rioch versus Clements. And it's there for Scotland. Well, that's one of the coolest penalties you'll see at Wembley. Watson away up here on the right in case the... They should try a long one. Well, they did try it again. And it came off, and it's a goal by Francis. Well, the Scots fell for that twice. It almost came off for England, and the referee called them back because the wall wasn't back ten yards. Con, Hutchison and McGrain. Just Hutchison and McGrain in that wall, played towards the near post. Oh, hit onto the crossbar, and then Watson didn't get it in, and Johnson did. David Johnson... 5-1 to England, Johnson who got a couple against... Well, Sullivan will swing another one in. Mallet's right in there. Knowles has come up, I notice as well. That's another very good one, and Knowles is there with the header. 
He's given the goal. Knowles is the scorer. Cracks made a run towards the near post. That's a good deep one again towards. Oh, and he's done it again. Knowles has got the header in. And that makes it 3 0. Maybe this long throw from Bobby Bate will help produce it. But it won't. Carlton turning it in again. And Lawrence is in there. Yes. Lawrence has scored. And John Dent is beaten at last.